and this is the candy chocolate house or for all you americans the candy candy shop <laughs> So we're heading up to St Paul's Church, I'm a little bit thirsty and I just smelt the delicious fragrance of a juice shop. And so we've found one here. It's always so good when there's a menu in English. And the prices are very good. The usual ones at the top, but yay, they do have wood apple for 200. Mixed fruit, 150. We've got milkshakes as well for 200 and just so you know this is what a wood apple looks like those amazing things from yesterday that are brown inside and this is a, a giant we call them like sour salt i think custard apple yeah and then all of the other things as well fantastic definitely going to try wood apple excellent oh wow wonderful so this is wood apple do wood apples grow in candy no, it's not uh, growing candy. Ah, it's, uh, actually, this is growing uh, Amradapura, Polonnaruwa. Ah, lower yeah, yeah. down. In the ah, down. okay, so near Gaul. Mm, near Gaul? It's, no, it's, uh, uh, it's growing only hot area. Hot okay. Area. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Then only only dry zone area. I'm so looking forward to trying it. Thank, Thank you. you. Shall we try? So, <gasps> look at it. I mean, it looks like chocolate milkshake anyway. Yeah, so excited. I am trying really hard to quickly come up with a few adjectives. That is so blinking weird. Is it dry? Mmm. It kind of is. It's like um, malt, malt syrup. It's like passion fruit that's gone slightly off. I'm not too sure I'm going to get your opinion. <laughs> it's a weird flavour. It's not quite what I was expecting. Probably because it looks like chocolate and it doesn't taste like it. What? Oh. <laughs> it's kind of got a bit of zing to it, like it's fermented or something like that. I quite like it actually. I wasn't expecting to like it, but I do. Wood apple wins for me. I don't know if they've added some uh, lime or no. lemon or something like that. I don't that. think they would have. Mm. But what about your mixed fruits in comparison? Fruit, as always, is great. <laughs> I just love all the tropical fruits of Sri Lanka and they never fail. And this is a brilliant place. We're sitting outside watching the um, pilgrims coming and going, wearing all their whites to the temple and uh, St Paul's Church over there. Fantastic. So this is the home of our lovely juice shop just down in there. And look at that beautiful wooden building beside it as well. This is a really nice part of town just behind the temple of the two. And we come around, still heading on to St. St Paul's Church, a lovely red brick church built in 1843 and it was used for the British garrison troops. Um, I hope we can get in, there's a big bar across. This is quite sad, these lovely old colonial buildings have unfortunately been left to go to wreck and ruin. Oh wow, this is quite impressive. Church of St Paul Candy, Church of Salon. On the back of the temple? Oh my word! Unfortunately, no photography. This is the clock tower and a very busy junction around it. Quite interesting around this part of Candy, I think. Um, One thing I've noticed is loads of bakeries everywhere, which is really good. We're gonna have to eat more baked stuff, can't we? Yeah. Andy, what do you like about this place? Well, I like the Ishmael building over there. I think it's 1927. Yep. And here is the Muslim hotel and restaurant since 1907. It's amazing. There's like a market thing down here, but there's also a park on top. And here's a statue. It's best to go under the road than above <laughs> it. We, we fell for that one yesterday. Yes. It's very impressive. Yeah, clean as well. Yeah. Impressive. We're used to like these sort of underground shopping tunnels to be a bit grotty and not so nice, but this is lovely. Wow, and there's so much art. We haven't got to the market yet, and already you can see you can buy virtually anything you'd ever want around here. Quite lovely, a three dimensional piece of art. Beautiful, vivid colours. Wow. 
Yes. One of the things we love about Sri Lanka are the tropical fruit. And yes. here we've found Rambi Chan. Thank you so much, Yay. sir. Seven pieces for 100. We've got seven. So we're going to check, actually, we should have counted them. Yeah, oh, nice. Red I one. Hope it's ready. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Are there seven in Lily? We'll yeah, check. I think we've got a small one, actually. <laughs> Can we swap this one? It'll be fine. What do you think? <laughs> so the secret to opening your rambutan is uh, you actually twist, twist it. it. Yeah, I'll okay. use that in a slightly different way. <laughs> I love these. So what is the difference between a lychee and a rambutan? That's what the, I want to know. the outer skin. Yeah. Rambutan is a lovely little spiky red thing. But if you've never had uh, tropical fruits before, you've never tried rambutan. They're delicious. Rambutan, longan, lychee, they're all from the similar family, I'm guessing. Mm. And they're lovely. So how is it? Wonderful. Wonderful. We are from uh, England mm. and New Zealand. New Zealand, all black. Yeah. So okay, good. Exactly. Okay. So do you think seven for a hundred, good value? Yeah, I reckon. I think it's an amazing value. <laughs> so wonderful, you've got here your pineapples. You've got avocados. I'm not too sure what these are, actually. Here we've got jackfruit, lovely. I'm not sure about this, but here you have wood fruit. Wood apples. Wood, sorry, wood apples. Yeah, yeah sorry, wood, wood apples. apples. I got the name wrong. Oh, wow, rambutan. There's guava. You've got your mangoes. Rose apple. We had those in Colombo. They're delicious. From London, no? No, no, from New Zealand. Hi. Either London. No, from Coventry. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coventry, best city in England. England. The best one. Yes. No. <laughs> and the best, foot the best football team as best well. Best football yeah. team yeah. in the world. Green park. Green park. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Thank you. Delhi. Yeah, is Delhi. this the one that they use in, in, in cooking? Is this called no, cooking? No, no. no. It's sweet. Yeah, free fruit. Oh, how much is that? One kilo, 300. One kilo. For one kilo. Okay. The Delhi fruit. What is that? See. Ah, it's ah, the same one, but it's a one, more yeah? ripe one. Oh wow, it's got a what does very, it smell like? very sort of wow. It. Sort of cross between an orange and a passion fruit. Oh, so interesting. He's actually cutting that, into the deli yeah. fruit. Oh my word! I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! It's um, okay. it's like it? it's like candy, butter or. or Something yeah, quite like yeah. cream cheese. I'll try it. Yeah, they're good. I like them. Good day. That's incredible. It's, it's honestly, it's like cross between a banana and a passion fruit. And can you see the the oh, passion lovely? Passion fruit, pool. Yeah, what, deli what, what deli apple? fruit. Hot apple. What do you call it? Sorry, hot apple. Yes. It's incredible oh my word wow i've never tried these ever before lee yeah. Sorry. this fruit is amazing what is it the deli fruit okay is it like is it sweet or sweet. wait till you try it it's like nothing i've ever eaten ever. wow sticky yes no but the flavor sticky, it? interesting don't yeah. you think it's to me like banana and passion fruit combined yeah Wow, nothing like ever I've tried before. No, Look at that. wow, go Sri Lanka. Mm. It's incredible. They come out with so many good fruits here, unbelievable. Part of the market seems to be for coconut. 80 rupees each, 75, 70 for those ones, 95 for the larger ones. Really cool. There's still more as we come down. Oh, here we have budgie mix. More coconuts. She says it's number one protein, this Del fruit. So. Really? Wow, excellent. Good for me. Thank you. <laughs> this is the fish section. So many different types of dried fish. Fascinating. Oh, and it smells kind of pungent. As I'm sure you can imagine. So many different things, the shrimp and wow, amazing. This looks like an old like market complex. They've left the grass in the middle, I'm not too sure why. It's a butcher's area, so maybe this was like where they bought animals, maybe. Ah, okay. 
He's still eating his deli fruit. Yeah. yeah. Deli in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these tiny little watermelons. I think they must be like the smallest ones I've ever seen. Wow. It's so cool. <laughs> got more fish. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Tomatoes, it's pretty good. I'm not too sure if that's for a kilo, I'm guessing so. Limes and the onions, lovely little carrots and green stuff. And here are some of those little chilies that are quite quite lethal. <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> we asked our lovely guest house owner if there were buses that went from Candy to Sigiriya. He said, Yes, go to the Bogambara bus terminal. I'm going to do a recce and see if we can find where it leaves from. That always makes life easier when you've got your backpack on and you know exactly where you're going. Yes. Critical travel tip. <laughs> do a recce first. Wow. Destination. I don't see. Okay. So yes, there is a public toilet here and it's 30 rupees. An interesting observation here in the bus station. All the buses have got these, um, like, chilies and fruits hanging from them i reckon this must be some sort of offering or something like that maybe for a safe passage you know yeah. <laughs> well i don't hope like safe driving would lead to safe passage so cool they're always really well decorated inside beautiful flashing lights and they've got you know shrines to buddha and shiva and stuff like that you know so you always get safe passage because you've got you know uh, divine help all the way. <laughs> a very helpful local just informed us we need bus number 45, not actually in the bus terminal, but outside. So now we're going to find exactly where. So we found bus number 45 behind us and a really friendly, helpful guy on it. He said that there is one or two direct buses from Candy to Sigiriya, 6.30 or 7.30 in the morning and they go from up by the crossing. So we'll check Google Maps later on, we'll just find out what they say and then work out our plan to get to Sigiriya when we do finally decide to leave because we're liking candy a lot more now. So we've just walked up past the railway station to find this bus stop here, look at that! It is Sigiriya and Dumbula and there's actually buses to Jaffna, number 43 back there. That one's going to Jaffna. Okay, this one here is going to Jaffna. Hello. This goes to Sigiriya? This first? Sigiriya? This goes to Dambula. Dambula? Dambula, this one, yeah? Thank you. Ah! Dambula? Banara? Like a treasure hunt. <laughs> We're getting closer. This is pretty cool, but honestly, it's so exciting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another day. Uh, how much is the Yeah? How much is the Yeah? 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 Okay. Right. Two and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. Two and a half hours to do 89 kilometers. That's an express. Two and a half hours. Okay. Yeah. Is, is Public Dambula. bus. Yeah. Public bus. Yeah. This one. Dambula. Change. Change. This one. Sigiriya. Direct. Direct. Okay. How often? How many times per day? Two and a half. Only Two. one bus. Only one bus. Oh, tonight. What time? Okay. Uh, you see that side. Ah, that side. Ah. 6.30 a.m. But it's at 4 p.m. and they're half full. <laughs> so no, 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 actually. Candy 5.50, figure A 9.10. That's the okay. one. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> We're getting there. So one of the things is at, at bus stations, you often get information people. So you can ask them about the buses and the times. So here this very helpful gentleman has just told us that there's a bus to Sigiriya in the morning at 7.30 a.m. Yeah, and it costs how much? 340 rupees. Is it a government bus or a yes, private bus? 
Okay, and do you know how long it takes? Three hours. Three, three, three hours. Three hours, okay, and it goes from here? Yeah, yeah. Is it number 45? 41. 41? Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you so much for your help, that's wonderful. And that shows the difference between government buses and private buses. They yeah. said 800, I don't know if it's really that price, but big difference in price, worth finding out in advance. The worst comes to the worst, and we miss the 7.30 a.m. bus. We've just discovered there are buses to Dumbula every 10 minutes, so we might go there. 280 rupees, I've just been told, from here to Dumbula, and then we'll change to Sigiriya. So it's really good to know. Very helpful sign. It looks as though the buses to Dumbula all go from this area. They call it a bus terminal, but in reality, there are just buses parked along the side of the road, stretching all the way down to near the railway station. So in the hunt for juice, we found another place. This place looks amazing. It's called Mehiri Foods. And the price has caught us because they're even cheaper than the place we went earlier today. And people are eating delicious things. Look, fruit salad. Wow. Yeah, it's a fruit salad, 170, and it's with ice cream or this faluda. I do love my faluda. Wood apples, only 120. Wow, that's actually Hello. brilliant prices. Yeah. Hello. Uh, I think the fruit salad is that with uh, cream, ice cream. Yeah, yeah. It's cream. Yeah. yeah. It's cream. No, it's ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, one fruit salad for me, Mandy. And I will Juice. have, um, ooh, I think one sour sock, please. Oh, it's up. Sour sock. Finish. Finish. Yeah. Ah, okay, uh, then. No. Can't uh, I might go. Pineapple, papaya, lime, watermelon, mango, fruit, juicy, amla, passion fruit, faluda. So the faluda, is that with ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have uh, one faluda. One please. faluda. Faluda, faluda, faluda fruit salad. Yes. Yes, thank do, you. do you have here, please? Yeah. Oh, which one was that one? Uh, this one's a mango shake. Okay, it does look good. Hmm, maybe tomorrow. Happy customer. <laughs> Happy customer? Yeah, lovely. Lee just pointed this out to me. Mango with ice cream, 140. Or wood apple with ice cream, 140. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. wow. <laughs> I am a happy man. Oh, got my fruit salad with my big dog of ice cream. What more can I wish for? That's brilliant. I really like candy. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And there's my faluda. Thank you. Okay. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? It does. I'm just by the Queen's Hotel. Look at these crazy prices for juices. Mango juice, 740. Sour sock, 600. Orange juice, 1,200. You really have to look around, because otherwise you'll get stung by prices like this that we've paid 150, 200 rupees for. And we're here at the Lion Brand Cafe in Kandy. And I have my first cappuccino like here in Sri Lanka. It costs 400 rupees. It's made with Sri Lankan Robusta. And the reason I'm really excited about this is because of the history of coffee here in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is world famous for its tea and, and quite rightly so because it's absolutely delicious. It's I think the fourth largest producer of tea in the world. But before tea, they were actually planting and growing coffee up until the 1870s when there was a coffee blight which like wiped out the crop. So they planted tea instead. But that's why for me, it's a little piece of history, because instead of tea, we could have all been drinking Sri Lankan coffee. I'm going to try this cappuccino. It's delicious. So we're getting on this bus to Dambula. 